Hey, welcome to the channel. This is Chris and Ray from Outbound Terrain. Glad you guys could come along. It's February in 2022. Hey, uh, I wanted to show you this cool rig, this 89 Forerunner that Ray built. I think you guys will really enjoy it. So let's get into it, man. Hey, I purchased this 1989 Toyota first gen 4Runner in April of 2021 with the uh, uh, assumption I was going to run the Rubicon in August of 2022. So it's about 90% built and uh, I'm going to take you through some of the things that I've done. Starting with the exterior, um, you know, the, I've got a trail gear front bumper, um, kind of a Baja style with a pro comp skid plate down below. Um, I purchased a super winch that's a 10,000 pound super winch with synthetic um, about an 80 foot line um, with a factory 55 I'm really impressed with the uh, the factory 55 uh, hooks on there so I really like what they do there um, and then on the uh, on the light bars they're rough country um, those are the black series and they're the eight inch LED lights. Got pretty simple ditch mount, it's right here. Haven't decided what lights I'm gonna put on there yet, but they're they're installed, ready to go. On the side of the vehicle, I actually removed the original um, Nerf bars, and I ha actually have them in my garage. I, I purchased the trail gear. They're the extended six foot uh, rock sliders. Haven't decided if I'm gonna put those on yet. Um, so more to come on that. Coming back to the rear, we've got the Marlin. That's the newest Marlin rear bumper for the first gen. Um, I believe it's an eighth inch thicker than the previous one, so it's a super heavy duty. And what I like about the Marlin is they actually have the side mount supports here. Um, some of the other companies like Trail Gear, they don't put this side mount on, so if you're coming into a wall, you slide. Mm. If you could, you know, it's, it's on the frame, so it's gonna hold, but I really like the Marlin equipment. Um, I think they're, they're a great company. Um, and then the only other thing on the side, I put a little uh, battery port for solar. Um, that way you can extend your battery outside without going through your windows and, and so on. It's a biggie. So as far as the uh, drivetrain, we got a factory, it's a V6 3.0 with a automatic transmission. Um, I upgraded the battery to an Optima Red. Um, it's got a, a pretty cool billet aluminum um, housing for that battery. Um, all the spark plug wires, coil, have all been upgraded. Um, you can see the new vacuum hoses in blue. 90% of those hoses are upgraded. Um, we installed a, a water pump. We've got the new pulleys, the new belts inside there. Uh, thermostat housing and thermostat, that's all new. As far as gears, um, differentials. They're all stock. Um, in a previous video, we shot the ARB breather line. So they do have the you know, upgraded breather lines rather than the little stock plastic ones. Um, and then as far as the brake system, it's all brand new. We've got um, Brembo slotted discs up front, Brembo rear, new pads, new rotors, new drums all the way through and extended brake lines that are stainless. As far as suspension goes on this unit, like I said, it came stock. I put a four inch lift kit on it. Um, pretty simple. It was a pro comp. Um, took about eight hours to get done. Um, 
So the front's got all new, all new rubber as well. Um, new ball joints, everything. So everything's pretty much been rebuilt up front. Uh, there's some new traction bars right behind the front diff. And then on the rear, I did upgrade to the Bilstein uh, reservoir shocks. Which are, are pretty sweet in this unit. So they, they work really well with this unit. And then as far as wheels and tires, we've got stock rims on 33 mud terrain. One of my biggest opportunities of this was just getting rid of the hard top, making it a true convertible, um, and putting the soft top, you know, the safari top on it. And I mean, I love this thing, so. Just snap up there, man. Pretty nice, Ray. I like that. It changes the whole look of the rig. It's cool. So as far as interior goes, um, I've got a Grant Race steering wheel, and I pushed it forward just a little bit for us big guys so we can get in here and drive it. Um, we've got an Alpine stereo with four toggle switches, um, and I do have a front and rear camera um, that I'm going to install uh, for rock crawling purposes. You got a new front driver passenger bucket seats um, as well as marine grade um, carpeting complete and then as far as down the side of the walls we've got a marine grade decking system that I put on here which I really like oh yeah uh, this is what you see on the back of uh, wake boats so it's basically <laughs> just a big sticker nice. um, it's waterproof it's helps kill the sound and all, and all that stuff. Got a little so. sound deadening qualities. Huh? Yep. And then uh, I opened up the back panels, kind of finished those out just for storage. So you can throw some storage in there. So Nice. Utilizing all the space. Yep. Yeah. And then this is just something I've been working on locally, creating some winch extension ropes on, uh, you know, it's a 25 footer, just in case you're you need that extra 25 foot, so I'm going to be pushing those cool, out buddy. probably here shortly yeah. on a web page. So excited about that, but yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm probably going to be putting this thing up for sale in the next couple weeks, so it's going to go get smogged. It is street legal, um, but if you're interested, reach out through uh, Outbound Terrain. Give us a give us a quick text and a quick like. So appreciate it.